Here's a table of some valid forms of propositional argument. You've already seen modus ponens and modus tollens in the last lecture segment. Hypothetical syllogism is also a form of conditional argument, but it involves three conditionals arrayed as a three-line argument, so it's called hypothetical syllogism. Remember that any argument with just three lines is known as a syllogism, but this argument isn't syllogistic, it's propositional because its validity depends upon the logical relations between entire statements. We also have disjunctive syllogism, an argument in which we have an either-or statement in one proposition, that is to say, a disjunction, and in the other, a denial of one of the disjuncts, and an affirmation of the other disjunct in the conclusion. Finally, we have contraposition, a valid argument form in which we have a conditional statement in the premise, followed by a conclusion in which we reverse antecedent and consequent and deny them both. Please memorize these argument forms. They will always be valid regardless of the statements you choose to substitute for the letters. You should memorize these as they will come in very handy later in the course. Here's a closer look at another of these valid propositional arguments. If inland temperatures increase, then crops are damaged. If crops are damaged, then we all suffer. Therefore, if inland temperatures increase, then we all suffer. What's the form of this argument? If I, then C. If C, then A. Therefore, if I, then A. That's right. It's hypothetical syllogism. Incidentally, I should note that it matters little what letters we choose to represent the statements in these arguments, provided we all agree what those letters stand for. Here's another valid propositional argument. Premise 1. Either Dennis Tito or South African Mark Shuttleworth was the first space tourist. Premise 2. South African Mark Shuttleworth was not the first space tourist. What conclusion can you infer from this validly? Namely this. So American Dennis Tito was the first space tourist. Now what form does this possess? Well let's take a look at it. Either T or S. Not S. Conclusion. So T. You'll recognize this as disjunctive syllogism, another valid propositional argument form. This concludes this segment. Please continue to the next.